Hi, my name is Bonnie Barker. I'm with BonnieBayCrochet.com and I wanted to show you the next step. You should have already looked at the slip knot video. If not, you may want to look at that again, but just in case, I'm going to do it real quickly here. I'm going to make a little loop. Here's my tail. Leave at least four to five inches there. And then you come take this yarn, come up through the middle and pull the tail. You have a slip knot. Now you put this on your hook and this should be, it should be nice and uh, not real tight. You don't want it to be hard to move. You want it to be easy to move, but you don't want it, you know, you don't want to be able to see a lot of space between the hook and the yarn. You want it to be just, just so that it moves smoothly up and down the shaft. Okay, so now the most important thing here is how you hold your yarn. If you put the yarn over the three fingers, this will be the brake man. Now, if you take your pointer finger, turn your hand around, your pointer finger points up. Now your thumb and the tall man are not doing anything. Actually, the ring man doesn't do much either if your pinky, if you have the strength in your pinky to hold the, the yarn so that it doesn't slip. Now these two fingers, the, the tall man and the thumbkin, as we say in our classes, um, are going to hold the knot for now. And then what I want you to do is reach up like that with the hook and then with the nose of the hook going down pull through just like that reach up pull through now it's going to feel awkward holding the yarn like this in your left hand now now notice i have three stitches or three chains on the hook now i'm going to move my middle finger and my thumb back to the very base of where i'm working okay it's going to feel awkward to hold the yarn like this while you begin, but it's worth the time invested to try to learn how to hold this. It'll help you to go faster sooner and to become very comfortable with um, having good tension for your yarn. Okay, yarn over the back and pull through. Now notice that if the yarn is held right here, it's easy just to grab it, slightly turn it and pull through. Okay. So there you have it, the chain. If you didn't quite get it the first time, feel free to push the start button again and try it again. Okay, real quick, I've got about six or seven chains now, so I'm going to keep moving my thumb and my tall man up so that I'm actually holding my work. It makes it much easier, much, much easier to have control. Okay? Well, there you have it, folks. This is the starting chain. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.